Your legacy is every life that you've touched. I remember when I started the school and I said to my uh, beloved uh, friend, Maya Angelou, I said, Maya, I'm so, I'm so, just so proud that I was able to create this school. And I said, this is going to be my greatest legacy. And Maya said to me, you have no idea. <laughs> right, right. You have no idea what your legacy will be, she said to me, because your legacy is every life you've touched. And that shifted the way I saw legacy or what you leave behind or what you do. Because Maya ex was explaining to me that, you know, over all the years of watching your show, everybody who decided that they were going to go back to school or lose weight or no longer hit their children or get out of a bad marriage, all of those people who have seen and experienced your voice. And the same thing with everybody here. You have no idea what your legacy <laughs> will be. Your legacy is every life that you've touched. And we like to think of it. I know you have done amazing things with your philanthropy. We like to think that these great philanthropic moments are the ones that leave the impact or will make the huge difference in the world. But it's really what you do every day. It's how you use your life to be a light to somebody else's, you know? And it's how you use your work as an expression of your own art, whatever that is. So I don't. I, I, I think I would say the girls, as I get to watch them now, graduate from college and move into their lives. But really, there is a moment that uh, that happened to me um, uh, just about a year after I went national. There was a woman in Ann Arbor, Michigan, who wrote me a letter that will go on my. Will, I'm not going to have a tombstone, but if I had a tombstone, wasn't cremated, it would go there. Um, she said, Oprah. Watching you be yourself every day makes me want to be more of myself. And right. I just don't know of anything better than that. So I am most proud of, and just yesterday, I went to see uh, Notes from the Field with Anna Devere Smith, and in the bathroom, this woman comes up to me and says, you know, I've watched you all these years, and you did so much for me. And I used to just hear people say, oh, I watch your show, I love you, I love you, I watch your show. And about 10 years in, about the time I started talking to the audience, I would stop people and say, so tell me, what is it, what, what is it that moved you? Why, why do you love the show? Why do you? And this woman said to me just yesterday, you helped me to be more of myself. 